In his celebrated treatise, The Opening of the Eyes, Nichiren Daishonin illuminates the profound depths of the Lotus Sutra with a striking metaphor. The deeper the roots, the more luxuriant the branches. The farther the source, the longer the stream. This poetic imagery encapsulates the enduring vitality and universal resonance of the mystic law, a truth that transcends the ephemeral constraints of time and space. The roots of the Lotus Sutra, Nichiren asserts, penetrate deeper into the fertile soil of Buddhist wisdom than any other teaching. Its source springs forth from the very wellspring of Shakyamuni's enlightenment, an inexhaustible font of spiritual sustenance. Consequently, the streams of its beneficence flow farther, nourishing the lives of all people across the expanse of the latter age of the Dharma. As Nichiren proclaims, all sutras other than the Lotus Sutra have shallow roots and short streams, while the Lotus Sutra has deep roots and a distant source. This unequivocal declaration underscores the sutra's unparalleled profundity and its capacity to quench the thirst for absolute happiness in an era plagued by the three powerful enemies of hatred, jealousy, and ignorance. The great teacher Tian Te, whose elucidations form the bedrock of Nichiren's teachings, affirmed that the Lotus Sutra would survive and spread even in the evil latter age. This prescient prophecy resonates profoundly in the tumultuous currents of our modern times, offering a beacon of hope and guidance amidst the turbulence of our age. Nichiren himself embodied the indomitable spirit of the Lotus Sutra, persevering through relentless persecutions and calumnies that would have broken lesser individuals. Consider your own situation in light of these examples, he exhorts, drawing parallels with the envious courtiers who sought to undermine the virtuous Wang Chao Chun and the legendary Sugawara no Mishizen. Yet, even in the face of such adversity, Nichiren's faith in the mystic law remained unwavering, for he recognized that a votary who perseveres despite these adversities will gain benefits greater than those obtained by making offerings to the Buddha for an entire aeon. His resolute determination stemmed from his profound understanding that he had entered the last 500 years, the pivotal era foretold by Shakyamuni Buddha when the Lotus Sutra's teachings would face the fiercest opposition. In this crucible of hardship, Nichiren emerged as the Buddha's emissary, the living embodiment of the mystic law. As he declares, though my mind is steeped in the three poisons and my body is that of a common mortal, because my mouth chants nam myoho renge kyo, I am like the Buddha's envoy. This unwavering faith in the Dai Moku, the essence of the Lotus Sutra's teachings, was the wellspring from which his indomitable spirit flowed. Nichiren's life stands as a testament to the enduring power of the mystic law, a truth that resonates across the ages, its streams flowing ever farther, nourishing the lives of all people with the promise of absolute happiness and spiritual fulfillment. As he expressed, the deeper the roots, the more luxuriant the branches. The farther the source, the longer the stream. Nichiren's metaphor of, the farther the source, the longer the stream, invites us to contemplate the boundless expanse of the mystic law's beneficence, a transformative current that transcends the limitations of time and space. Just as a mighty river's source may be traced back to distant, pristine glaciers, the Lotus Sutra's wellspring originates from the depths of Shakyamuni Buddha's enlightenment, an inexhaustible reservoir of wisdom and compassion. From this sacred font, the stream of the mystic law flows forth, gathering strength and momentum as it courses through the ages, its life giving waters revitalizing all who embrace its teachings. Nichiren Daishonin, the Buddha's emissary in the latter day of the law, stands as a towering figure along this stream's banks, a beacon of unwavering faith and courageous perseverance. His unwavering determination to uphold the Lotus Sutra's teachings, even in the face of relentless persecutions, mirrors the stream's inexorable flow, carving a path through the formidable obstacles of hatred, jealousy, and ignorance. The Sutra states that a votary who perseveres despite these adversities will gain benefits greater than those obtained by making offerings to the Buddha for an entire eon, Nichiren reminds us. His life embodied this truth, a shining example of the immense rewards that await those who steadfastly embrace the mystic law, no matter the challenges they may encounter. Nichiren's resolute faith and unwavering practice were anchored in his profound understanding that he had entered the last 500 years, 
the pivotal era foretold by Shakyamuni Buddha when the Lotus Sutra's teachings would face the fiercest opposition. In this crucible of adversity, Nichiren emerged as the Buddha's emissary, a living embodiment of the mystic law's transformative power. Though my mind is steeped in the three poisons and my body is that of a common mortal, because my mouth chants Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, I am like the Buddha's envoy, he proclaimed. This unwavering faith in the Dai Moku, the essential practice of the Lotus Sutra, was the wellspring from which his indomitable spirit flowed, a stream of courage and conviction that continues to inspire and sustain Nichiren Buddhists to this day. As we navigate the turbulent currents of our modern age, beset by the powerful undertoes of hatred, greed, and delusion, Nichiren's metaphor invites us to immerse ourselves in the life-giving waters of the mystic law. For just as, the deeper the roots, the more luxuriant the branches, the farther we trace the source of the Lotus Sutra's teachings, the longer and more profound the stream of its beneficence will flow, nourishing our lives with the promise of absolute happiness and spiritual fulfillment. Nichiren Daishonin's metaphor of, the farther the source, the longer the stream, resonates profoundly in our modern age, inviting us to trace the mystic law's teachings back to their primordial wellspring and partake of their eternal, life-giving waters. As we navigate the complex currents of contemporary society, buffeted by the powerful undertoes of materialism, cynicism, and spiritual malaise, it is all too easy to lose sight of the Lotus Sutra's profound depths. Yet, Nichiren's clarion call beckons us to dive beneath the surface turbulence and rediscover the sutra's inexhaustible source. All sutras other than the Lotus Sutra have shallow roots and short streams, while the Lotus Sutra has deep roots and a distant source, he proclaimed, underscoring the unparalleled profundity of the mystic law. To fully appreciate the sutra's transformative potential, we must be willing to immerse ourselves in its teachings, tracing their lineage back to the very moment of Shakyamuni Buddha's enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. It is here, in this sacred wellspring, that we encounter the fundamental truths that give rise to the Lotus Sutra's eternal freshness and relevance, the inherent dignity of life, the interdependence of all beings, and the infinite potential for transformation latent within each individual. These profound insights, distilled from the depths of the Buddha's enlightened wisdom, flow forth as a mighty stream, its life-giving waters revitalizing all who embrace its teachings. As we immerse ourselves in this stream, we are reminded of Nichiren's own indomitable spirit, a blazing torch that illuminated the path through the darkest adversities. Consider your own situation in light of these examples, he exhorts, drawing parallels with the envious courtiers who sought to undermine the virtuous Wang Chao Chun and the legendary Sugawara no Mishizane. Yet, even in the face of such relentless persecutions, Nichiren's faith in the mystic law remained unshakable, for he recognized the profound truth that, a votary who perseveres despite these adversities will gain benefits greater than those obtained by making offerings to the Buddha for an entire eon. His resolute determination stemmed from his profound understanding that he had entered the last 500 years, the pivotal era foretold by Shakyamuni Buddha when the Lotus Sutra's teachings would face the fiercest opposition. In this crucible of adversity, Nichiren emerged as the Buddha's emissary, a living embodiment of the mystic law's transformative power. Though my mind is steeped in the three poisons and my body is that of a common mortal, because my mouth chants Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, I am like the Buddha's envoy, he declared, his unwavering faith in the Dai Moku serving as the wellspring from which his indomitable spirit flowed. As we trace the stream of the mystic law back to its source in Nichiren's teachings and the profound enlightenment of Shakyamuni Buddha, we are reminded of the immense potential for positive transformation inherent within each individual. For just as, the deeper the roots, the more luxuriant the branches, the farther we delve into the Lotus Sutra's eternal truths, the longer and more profound the stream of its beneficence will flow, nourishing our lives with the promise of absolute happiness and spiritual fulfillment.